Hey everybody, video here for you today. Now we're going to go talk about a place right down here. It's about 150 miles from Gobekli Tepe. has a history going back at least 7,000 years. And I first read about this last night, reading an article on George Howard's Cosmic Tusk website. And I will leave the link for that below. I never heard about this before. Looked into it just a little bit this morning, so I thought, why not? Why don't we talk about it today, since a lot of people have probably never heard about this place. This is called Tel Lilan, and you notice here there are current modern buildings on top of this Neolithic Tel. The history here goes back to at least, at least the 5th millennium BC. You can see a few areas here where some ancient ruins are sticking out of the ground here. One right there, and then right down in this area there are ruins, there are temples here. Quite a bit of stuff underground. We'll see some pretty cool pics here in a second. But this is a place I had just never heard about. The Akkadian Empire was here about 4,300 years ago. I think that started or roughly in that time period. But there are some more ancient ruins sticking on the ground right there. Now here is the article that I was looking into when the name of that Neolithic tell popped up. Diamond Peak confirmed a younger Dryas boundary and Bronze Age collapse perhaps. I will leave the link to this below. But I have talked about that in ancient Egypt around 4,200 years ago. I've read some ancient texts about a star falling. And we know at least a part of something landed in lower Egypt at that time. So I thought that was very interesting. But that's where I got the name of this place from this article. This just got more interesting the more I looked into it. This is about 220 acres. They say as many as 20,000 people lived at this site. And maybe they're talking about this site here. But 20,000 people lived here at one time. I'm just not real familiar with the Akkadian and the Assyrian Empire, so anything I can learn on that is good. There may be a layer of sediment here that indicates something devastating happened here at one time. But I found this very interesting. Excavation work here started in 1985 and then ran for a period of several years. Here is a look at the Neolithic Tell. The pics we are going to see really shows the different levels of the cultures that were living here. But a history here that spans many thousands of years. If history got going here about 7,000 years ago. But you notice a big mound back there. I'm not sure if that's just a natural hill or if people were living there too. Now the history of this place, to get this a little more precise. And remember, I just first heard about this about 12 hours ago. But it gets started around 7,000 years ago as a Neolithic farming community, they say. And then by maybe 4,600 years ago. The Akkadian Empire comes in here 4,200 years ago. There appears to be something pretty disastrous that affects the place for about three centuries of drought, they say. And then 1800 BC, an Assyrian ruler comes in here and renames this the residence of the god Enlil. Here's a look at some of the excavation work done here from Tel Lilan. There was about 1,100 cuneiform script found here tablets. Found that very interesting. The excavation work here started initially in about 1979 and then continued at some extent all the way up until about 2008. But here a look at some of the ruins found here. Just a pretty fascinating site. Just never heard about this before. But it seems archaeologists uncovered some pretty fascinating things here. Kings lived here. There was wars here. All sorts of stuff went on. Here is a look at an ancient stonework floor, and then right here, some sort of design work put in it right there. Not sure what that's all about. Here is a little closer look. These have obviously deteriorated a little. Not sure what's going on there. But here, this is very interesting. You know, so spiraling columns right there and those tight spirals, that is very interesting. Here are some more looks. Those spiral pillars, different walls, different rooms, stonework. Some designs on the walls here. Those spiral pillars, very cool. But civilization seemed to be thriving here for at least a few thousand years. There's some, it looks like copper artifacts. Some inscriptions and fragments of tablets here. More inscriptions, but they detailed trade and other things, wars. Different leaders of this area here. More look at those inscriptions and the cuneiform script. Different artifacts found here. Here are some more looks when they got down here. Artifacts, different rooms, stonework. Pretty well made floors. That is for sure. But that's a rare look at a site not too many people know about. But glad to make this video today. Learned a lot. 
at least in a little bit of time that I looked into this. This place was conquered in 1800 BC by an Assyrian ruler, and he changed the name of it to Shubat Enlil, which means a residence of the god Enlil. Here's some more things from the excavation work done between 1985 and 2002, at least this study was. Topographical map, cuneiform script, that's where they got the rulers that lived here, that's where they got those from. Also trade with other cities nearby were inscripted on these. Here's a look from a distance. The mound cut into a burial at Tel El Land. This was uncovered in 1985. Some more looks from the area, but pretty fascinating when you haven't even heard about this before. But a ruler of Babylon conquered this place in the, about 1700 BC. This place has all sorts of history here. Just found it very fascinating. Perfect for my channel. Places that people really have never heard a lot about. But this one just reaffirmed to me that you never know what you find when you find the name of an ancient site. Excavation work went on here for quite a while in different periods, but they uncovered a lot of history. But history seemed to stop here for about 300 years. And was that as something as simple as a drought or did that have more of a cosmic influence? Well, I wonder, it seems a wide area of the world was affected by something. I think the collapse of civilization is something important to look into. Mega drought here. I will leave this link below. That is one hypothesis for what happened about 4,200 years ago. I made the video on the impact down in way southern Egypt at that time period. I think I said lower Egypt at the time, but it was upper Egypt, which is southern Egypt. It's a little confusing. But here is an overhead look at Tel Lilan. People started living here about 7,000 years ago. Collapsed 4,200 years ago. For about 300 years, people moved back in. Then by around 1700 BC, about 3,700 years ago, this place was totally abandoned. Now I talked a lot about the Egyptians from the time period that I'm discussing today from the Akkadians and the Assyrians, but just not a lot from these people in the Mesopotamian and Sumerian culture. The god Enlil was associated with this mound at one time. Found that very interesting, but today this is what you can see from overhead. But the history underground here is very fascinating. It tells many thousands of years of history, so that's why I'm doing it today. Maybe some of you can add something to this. But there's a look at some of the ruins. Just thought this was a pretty cool one to do. Kind of a quickie today. Just learned about this last night, but glad to do this today. Hope you thought that was interesting, and you all have a very nice day.